What up y'all? Back to you with another in the dark video. I feel like the last video I made about what I learned about daily vlogging for seven days, uh, I feel like when I was there it, it was dark and the picture quality wasn't really that good. So I'm hoping on this one I'm, I'm gonna have a little bit more time to kind of uh, edit or color correct towards I should be coming off a little brighter and not just like it's in a dark and dingy little place. Uh, but I do, I do want to look into a little like ring light that I can use to kind of help brighten up uh, at least my face when I'm talking to you guys on, on the camera. Uh, so I can come off a little bit better lit. But, title of this video, got a new update on my credit report. Let me go ahead and log into Credit Karma really quick and show you guys. Face ID, track it. It's crazy how they can pick it up with my glasses, but look at that. 695 and 722, fell down two points. Now I haven't looked at my credit, or earlier today I looked at it, but before that I hadn't looked at it for about a month or so, a little more than a month. Last updated December 11th, right? But if I go to accounts, check this out. Look at that, collections, $324 in collections. What is that? Merch and prof colic, I don't even, last report November 6th, I don't even remember that being in my credit report. It says it was last opened April 2nd, about a year and eight months ago. I don't, I don't even know what this is. Capital Surgeon Group does ring a bell a little bit. Uh, I think that was when I had that ear thing, that little ear infection, but I don't think that was a surgeon. I can't remember. See, I gotta look back on it, but it's telling me, it gives me these options, right? So take a look at some options here to help with my score, right? It's like the average uh, improvement, take care of the collections in the first two years. If I remove it, I get 23 points. If I pay in full, I get an additional 25 points. And if I settle for less, I get 21 points. So basically I get over 20 plus points if I take care of these collections. Now, since I'm in baby step two right now and Christmas is right around the corner and my car, I haven't even got my car back yet. And so I don't even know the status or the update. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna touch this collection bill yet. Now I haven't got any phone calls or anything from them. Uh, last time I had a collection issue, they were calling me and, and letting me know like, hey, there's a collection, would you like to settle, blah, blah. That was a video I did about a year ago. It was Yeah, it was last year to settle that collection. And I did, and I made a video about it. If you wanna check it out, I'll go have a little link right up here. You can go check it out. I don't think this, would, this is what that was. I think it's a different name. First off, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold off on this. So before I get ahead of myself, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do anything on this one yet. Wait a little bit until I take care of that one, probably within the first couple of months of next year because a few things is going on. I got, I'm moving next, in about a few weeks, the first week of January, I'm moving to a new place. Uh, so I gotta hold money on the moving fees. I'm budgeting uh, some money for like the U-Haul and moving and pretty much the cost that, you, that entails of moving. I'm budgeting for that. Also budgeting for travel to the Valley pretty soon. I sacrificed some of that for just a collection build. Now I'm guessing since I just saw that, <clears throat> I'm, I'm wondering if I'm going to be receiving phone calls or if it's, really not my information and it's another number that's on file maybe like another Raul Gomez like I don't know how that works but maybe they're trying to get a hold of that phone number but I haven't been called I have, I've had the same number since I was 18 and, and I haven't had any calls so I'm wondering if that's not really mine so I might dispute it but I'm not gonna touch anything yet until I move and the Christmas and all the holidays go by and I finally settled in a new place I know what my budget and my bills are gonna be uh, and, and then from there, I'll decide. Okay, what am I gonna? What are my plans for this collection? Uh, now, one normally following Dave Ramsey's uh, steps of total money makeover, you kind of put the baby, the collection fees at their uh, on the side. So I will probably eventually do that. Build up for maybe like if it was 320 something, I might save up like 150 bucks and say, hey, would you like to take this, you know, up in settlement? Like I did the last collection bill, you know, get it in writing, so on and so forth. The main thing why is I, I care about my credit score right now is I eventually uh, wanna buy a house in the near future. Within a year or two, the latest, I plan to buy a house. So I, I want, so the bonus about me following baby step two is my credit has gone up. When I'm ready to buy the house or put a down payment on a home, I know Either I'm gonna ha I need to have either no credit or have a good credit score. And I'd rather have a good credit score or decent credit score now because I can get there faster as opposed to taking care of all this, waiting six months to a year until it finally shows on my credit report that it's all been wiped out. So either way, when you pay down debt, I've noticed my credit score has been increasing. I will keep you guys posted uh, on this collection. I, it was so funny, I just, and I normally get emails about things or get phone calls from collectors. Like in my last video, I talk about the process of what I was going through. 
uh, and they would call me, you know, they leave me messages and, and they'd email me. None of that was going on. I just logged in and I noticed it there. So I'm wondering if the information on there is, is belongs to maybe a different role as far as like the contact info. I'm kind of curious on that. So I'm gonna keep an eye on it for the next few months until I'm ready to jump on it. Once I'm ready to jump on it, I'm gonna go ahead and get in touch with them, figure it out, make sure it is mine, and then try to work a settlement. I'll keep you guys up posted on that one. I uh, appreciate you following me on this journey. Vlogmas baby, what are we? Day number eight? That's y'all budgeting for Christmas? Man. Hit the like button, subscribe, check out the Credit Karma. If you haven't downloaded the app, go ahead and check it out. They don't pay me to say that, but it really been helping me out. Any tips or any ideas? Like always, leave in the comment section down below. Appreciate the love, y'all. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.